A cold shower, while I know there's a benefit, it can make you angry. But something about submerging fully is it's a different animal. Being exposed to cold air, a cold shower, and then full submersion, there are benefits with each, right? There was a paper that compared partial cold water immersion with full body, or at least, you know, head out, whole body cold water immersion. And they found an important difference in the heart rate. When you're doing a cold shower, you get the gas reflex. You get the activation of the sympathetic division of the central nervous system. You get that fight or flight response. And this really reds you up. This is why the cold showers make me angry. What yeah. you don't get is the mammalian dive reflex. The mammalian dive reflex is the parasympathetic response. Mm. And this slows down the rate of oxygen consumption. It slows down your heart rate. So we have some really good real-time heart rate data on what happens when you first get in boom, there's a blood glucose spike, there's a heart rate spike, the activation of the sympathetic, and you feel it in the gas reflex. And you, you're you like, I got to get out of here, I'm going to die. But you don't. Your body is programmed to make the adjustments that you need to survive. That is improving your vagal function. That is bringing your parasympathetic division online. And we can see this in the improvements in heart rate variability that people who do regular practice of cold plunge experience.